Eleven. So um, this is the third video of 4.1, and it's just going to be a short one. But um, really, we're using all the same skills that we've learned already this chapter. And uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to solve sort of like complex-looking figures. All you have to do is you have to take it a uh, little piece at a time. So when we have a big, ugly figure like this, okay, what you want to do is try and cut it up somehow so that you have pieces that are manageable. So in example four in your textbook, um, this is how they suggest you do it. So you see how this thing here, you can make this into a rectangle. So here's a rectangle here with that side and this side, right? Make it into a rectangle and then two triangles. And so if you do that, so this question's asking you to find the perimeter. So it's all of the lengths on the outside. Oh, is it frozen still? Sorry. There we go. That's moving now? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So if it's asking you to find the perimeter, then you want to find you know, this side and this side and this side and this side and so on. All these sides here, okay? And so when you, if you do that, you can take it a little piece at a time. So we have a right triangle here, and we have a right triangle here, number two, and we have a rectangle. So it looks like we can solve for... B and D, that's going to be part of the perimeter. This looks like it's given already, this section. This section is given already. We need to find E out here and then F. This section is given and then we can find this section here, A. So those are the pieces that we need to find. And in order to do that, let's focus on, I guess, smaller triangles at a time, right? So, um, this triangle number, well, let's just do triangle number one first. Can we do triangle number one or not? Looks like we could find out what B is. Uh, does that help us? Do we know what C is? Oh, I guess we could find out what C is. So, let's see here. Okay, that's a 90 degree. Um, this side length over here is 20. This one also should be 20. So, 10.5 plus C equals 20. So what is C? 9.5. Very good. So C is 9.5. So I know that, 9.5. Um, do you know anything else here? Is there anything else we can determine straight up? You can determine angle B. That's right. And so because this is um, a straight line, that's 180 degrees, so these angles, 140 and B, are supplementary. So that's going to be 40 degrees. Okay, so you can use Sokotoa, right? I guess to find out B and D. Okay, so I'll switch. Uh, let it, let's let's find the opposite here, opposite side. So that's going to be uh, I guess the opposite and adjacent, right? So that's going to be um, So Ka or Toa. Which one is it going to be? Mm, not opposite hypotenuse. Mm, not adjacent hypotenuse, but it's going to be opposite and adjacent. So this is going to be tan. So we're going to use tan of 40. That's the angle. Equals the opposite side, which is unknown, divided by the adjacent side, which is 9.5. So you have 9.5 times tan 40 equals the opposite side. And so you're going to take it just a piece at a time. You're going to be able to find this B then. And then you can do the same thing to find D using another trig function here. Or you can use Pythagoras. Okay. So that's the, uh, that's the start of the example. And these take a long time. You know, sometimes they, uh, they take a lot of energy and a lot of paper. <laughs> but once you do that and you do all the little pieces, put all the little pieces together, then you'll get an answer. And again, you can use trigonometry, and you can use Pythagoras' theorem. It's all good. So this one, the perimeter should be 105 when you find, up, find out all the pieces there. So let's take a look at uh, this build your skills question, again, which I've already kind of started for you here. So number nine is the build your skill question. It, sa it says this, Pauline is building a fence around her vegetable garden. Shown below, what length of the fence will she need to build? Uh, so uh, we need to know what this is, this side, 
We need to know what this side is. Right? We don't know what those are. We know what this long bit is and this shorter bit is. Okay? So first thing we can do is we can divide this into some things that we know and uh, some of those things would be like a 90 degree or a right triangle here. And there would be another right triangle over here. And the reason why we do that is because we can then use the angles and this 90 degree to use our trig functions. So for this one right here, I've got this triangle uh, written out here, 49.4. And this is this height here is 1.75. So that's 1.75. So there we go, 1.75. We got our angle of 49.4. And I can solve for this side, which is going to be the hypotenuse of this right triangle now. So you want to set this up over here as sine of 49.4 degrees equals opposite, which is 1.75, divided by hypotenuse. When you solve for h, you remember that you can multiply by h both sides, then divide by 0.75927, which is sine of this. And so we get h all by itself here. And that's going to equal 2.3. So this is going to be 2.3 on this side right here. Okay, I'll just stop there. Does everyone see what I've done so far in this up to this black line here? Yeah. Solving for 2.3. Any questions about it? Uh, if you had, okay. So again, we've got to just make right triangles. That helps. Um, all right. So now we we do the same thing over here with this side, and I've recreated this triangle over here on the far left side. That's sixty-eight point one. Again, I know this is one point seven five. That's the height of that of that figure, and I can solve for h two or the other hypotenuse over here. So again, opposite hypotenuse that is sine. And you should get a hypotenuse of a length of 1.886. Then you have all the sides for this, uh, this thing here. So it looks kind of like this, right? And then you've got this one, you've got this one, you've got this one, and you've got this one. And then you add them all up. And the sum of those would be your answer. Now, because it's a perimeter, uh, it's, a, it's a fence, uh, and these units are in meters. You see that? Meters. So these are all meters. Your final answer should be in meters as well. Okay? All right, so for number 10, it's asking for yeah, the area of the carpet. So uh, this is like a floor plan, I guess. So again, what you could do is split this up into a rectangle and a triangle. And then you do have to find area, dot perimeter, or this one's finding area. So this is a square here, looks like. This is a square. So that's going to be 8 squared, 64 meters squared. That's going to be this part. And then, all right, so now we need to find the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, the base we know is 8 meters, but the height we don't know. We need to find out what this is. And, fancy enough, when you drop that straight down, you get a right triangle. Alright, so we need to find this height, and so let's redraw this little triangle here. We have a right triangle now, that's great. This is 3. And what is this angle here, 131.6? That looks like this, this whole angle. How can I use this? Because um, I, I can use that to find this angle right here. Anybody have any idea? Subtract from 360. Subtract from 360. Ah, close. 180. From 180? 180 straight line. Okay, well, 180, you would find this angle. I want this one right here. Do you remember this is a square? So what's this angle right here? 90. 90. So guess what? This is 131.6 minus 90 right there. 
All right, so what's that? Um, 131.6 minus 90 .6. is 41.6? No, it's 41.6? Okay, you're both right. Okay. Okay, uh, all right. So how's that going to help us now? Okay, so yeah, we've got a right triangle here. And we've got an angle and one side. So guess what? I can find out what this height is, which is what I need to finish off this question. So this is the opposite side, and this is the hypotenuse side. So, so in Sokotoa. So that's sine of 41.6 degrees equals the opposite side, which is unknown. So I'll just write OPP, divided by the hypotenuse, which is a value of 3. So I'll multiply both sides by 3, and I get 3 times sine of 41.6 equals that opposite side length. So our trusty calculator can help us with that. Thank goodness. You know, when I was a really small kid, we used to, we, we didn't have like calculators like this. Yeah, I know, shocking. We, we used trig tables. We had like, like a, a booklet, like a little booklet, and it had the sine and cosine and tangent of every angle, like every angle. wow, one to 360, I guess. And so it was like this little, and it was like old and tattered. It's probably like like as old as the dinosaurs sort of thing. Was this like no, it wasn't in the 1800s. No, not quite that old. No, it was in the 1900s. Okay, it was like in the probably the late 80s, right? When I needed this. So, I mean, yeah, that's right. Okay, all right, enough of that story. Okay, three times sine of 41.6, 1.99. Or two? Let's say, let's say that h equals two point zero. So that's going to be awesome, and that's going to be meters. So now I can finish that off. So that's one half. The base is eight times the height is two. And so that's one half eight times two is just eight. Oh, yeah. One half eight times two. So the one half and the two cancel each other out. It's just eight. So the total area is, where am I going to put this? I'll put it down here in black. The total area is 64 plus 8 meters squared, which is 72 meters squared. OK, so tell me you understand that. I understand this. Yes? Yes? A full like five out of five for understanding? Six. A six Ooh. out of five. Ooh. Very good. And you don't understand fractions, but very good. <laughs> <laughs> six out of five people surveyed said that they One get this question. Two. Okay. You know, there's three kinds of people in this world. People that know math and people that don't know math. <laughs> and the six. So there's, the, uh, there's question one for the practice. So we're rounding out this section here now. Practice, there's number one. And there's B, C, and D and E. And then F, and then G, and H. There's two and three. Uh, I don't know. I'll answer in a second. There's four. There's five. And that should be good. Ooh, and then we're in 4.2, baby.